I'm so tired of the same old people Acting like they love me but their hearts are filled with evil I know I know Say me my mind or die But they'd probably rather die than to stay by my side Yeah, I know These things I know don't you love it? To pop free shit that reach the public still I believe my speech so deep that all my real niggas dub it Ass naked bombs and these cash faking rhymes Got me losing my mind inside the lines of these wicked rhymes They will be a ghetto star coming up quick Shit, what you heard? We be running this shit It's plain to see my whole damn click shine bright Always knew the real niggas are in this shit when the time is right Now east to west is irrelevant We're doing it worldwide uh -huh. Similar to bitches like girls they hide they die slow when I ride low, bumping this beat, I bury all bitch made niggas coming for me. I rock in the seat, then evade the cops. I never go alive. Rock in the seat, then evade the cops. Still getting mine, living blind, search for salvation. Still got my back, but I visualize one nation. My work is done when my every election. So now, because they can't beat me, they got to do this smear campaign to convince public opinion that I'm bad for them. So you said two elections. You were first elected in 2021? No, 2013 was my first election for trustee. I was trustee. a trustee. I set where they are. Right. That's uh, why uh, I know the, the law. Council. Yes. Elected mayor 2021. Yes. Term is four years? Yes. Okay. Uh, plans of running for re-election? I'm running for both my seats. And yeah. I'm going to win them. So, and when is the election for Thornton Township? 2025. So those elections are the same time? They are. Bullshit. A bullshit. A bullshit. I could not be here breathing and be comfortable if I was really as bad as they was making. You know, nobody could be around me. So for me to be this calm, I must have some kind of inner peace. And my inner peace is knowing that once everybody takes the time to really see what type of person I am, you'd be surprised that I stuck around this long. I have to make the life that I do live as happy as I can and try to do the best with what I have. Just, you know, live the best life I can live, be as happy as I can do. Nothing is perfect for anybody. <laughs> They don't want us redneck brothers and sisters and the hood brothers and sisters getting along. You know why? Because we'd be unstoppable. I'm telling you right now, we would shut shit down. Yes, yes, yes. You already know what we're going to do, y'all. Shut shit down. I'm going to behave today. How are you guys? Blessings, blessings. Welcome to Uncensored Enlightenment Talk. You're here with your host, Grace Levi, and I'm on my best behavior this week. Y'all want it? Y'all want the good? Y'all want the good girl? I'm doing good. I hope you guys are doing good, doing lovely. It, Dalton is on fire. Dalton is on fire. Dalton been on fire for a while, but there's been a lot of things happening this week. And it all stemmed from the Lori Lightfoot report, as well as the last Dalt, the last Dalton meeting in the spe um, well that that report in the special board meeting. Um, it did lead to our special special guest tonight. Let me put them on the screen. Hey, put them on the glass, yo. Put them on the glass, yo. Now, right now. We're going to, you know, follow up with updates that y'all already have about Lacey Lewis losing his job. Y'all know I'm going to have to stick it to him because he right now, you know, he's home. He's mad as hell. and He's tight. I'm going to need y'all to dance with me right now. Why are you detaining me? You about to lose your job. You about to lose your job. Get this dance. You about to lose your job because you are detaining me. Play the whole thing. I just had to play the whole thing for you guys. 
we're going to rub it in his face. So we know he lost his job. Oh, my bun's about to come out and everything and stuff. Trying to turn up. You about to lose your job. Get this dance. All right. So we already know that he lost his job. Okay. And following that, we're having deja vu. We're having deja vu. And someone may be turning on Hingyard. Um, there has been an investigation started against Mr. Lewis Lacey related, well, Lacey Lewis related to bankruptcy fraud. Now, I just want to show you the page. Let me just show you the Google search where you put this man name up in the Google search. He did all he did in his career just to have a legacy like this. Okay. You remember we did this a while ago when we just put Tiffany Hendrick name in and it was just nothing, nothing but bad stuff. Let's just quickly skim the page. As you can see, my baby girl, my baby girl picture pops up and this is Alexis Wilson. We want to give love and blessings to Alexis Wilson. We're going to put her on the screen every live. Shout out to Alexis Wilson. We already know what we're trying to do or what we're going to do. We're working on changing the name of the Dalton skating ring to Alexis Wilson Justice Skating Ring. Yes, baby. So please, please, please hit the like button and also hit the link when you see it in our community page and when we put it at the bottom of our videos, okay? All we need is a signature, just a signature and it's free. OK, but that's one of the cases that he is actually connected to. And then we have a few more cases. But before we get to that, let's just continue to scroll down. And you see there's other cases that's connected to um, this person that we call Lacey Lewis. This man has caused way more than thirty three million dollars worth of damages. Just without saying the numbers, because we're going to we're going to save the numbers for Friday, Friday. Be ready for me, guys. We're going to do about a two-hour live or probably three, and we're going to get into these numbers, and that is going to include all the lawsuits that has been settled, if we can get a settlement amount related to Lacey Lewis. Right now, I have five. So we have the $33.5 million lawsuit that we know where he was involved in a chase that fatally unalive a uh, Dalton resident as well as um, left a, someone permanently injured. We also just went over one last week, just before the meeting, um, Mr. Ms. Camilla Will Williams, I'm saying it right, Camilla Williams, the protester who First Amendment right was actually taken away from her for protesting for the Alexis Wilson untimely murder, okay? And in that particular lawsuit, I love the fact that her lawyer clarified that they were going against them for conspiracy, okay? With them all conspiring, the three that was named in cahoots to lock her up. And one of the three was, let's put her on the screen. Let me put my sister on the screen. You know, I gotta, I gotta put my baby girl on the screen. Related to Hinger giving a call from her watchdog, call dog, catch a dog, number two, right here. Cause we already found out that Dalton police station was catching the dogs. Uh-huh. He was doing two jobs for all that overtime money. Mm -hmm. Also, we found out that he was receiving overtime money when he wasn't supposed to. Because you guys know if you're in a supervisor position, nine out of 10, you have a base salary. Yeah. And that base salary is all you get. Mm -hmm. But he found a way to work around that. Also found a way to put his name on credit cards. I don't know how normal this is, but I'm going to have to do more research in regards to, you know, sergeant, you know, uh, head of police station having expenditure cards or access to that. It's just so weird. Um, what else? He had um, at least two cases related to other officers related to First Amendment issues um wrongful termination as well as wrongful hiring we we went over that he was involved in that where tiffany was do it did this let's put on you remember she did this she did this two out of three of these officers did not pass their tests according to that lawsuit and they may be still walking around dalton hmm we gotta do some research on those names you're gonna get into that later on. Who else? We had Pablo's Cafe, where we're still we're still waiting for Pablo. I think it's called Pablo. Pablo's as 
per the lawsuit. We're still waiting to see what's the development on that because lawyers have switched. Ooh, I got some good news. Yo. Well, not some good news. I got some news. I got some information just researching. We're going to get into it. I found something, guys. Hit the like button. Hit the like. Okay, I'm going to get to the comments real quick. Just bear with me. I'm getting back in the groove this week. Last week was rough for me. I know y'all think I'm really strong. and uh, I had to sleep, recover, pray. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm still getting myself together. And with that goes to say, we, we're going to go into the other Williams case. Do y'all remember the other Williams case that we went into with a young lady? She was over the permits and stuff. And I think they changed her to be a clerk or something. I forgot what they changed her to be because she would not go along with the program. Now, I, from my memory, Lacey was involved because at the end, he escorted her out. He escorted her out. So he's involved in that lawsuit. And um, yeah, those are about the first five or six that I wanted to just bring back to your memory. That was some of the things that we went over for the last two or three months. If you don't know, we're going to have in a paint playlist to have all adults and videos that I did. So I'm going to be updating that tonight. And I'm also going to make sure that every video connected to Dalton have the link to the Alexis Wilson skating ring. Oh, that's called it. Yeah. Ice ring. Okay. I'm already claiming it. I'm claiming it. Okay. Now, let me get to the comments. We're going to get to the article and we're going to get to the comment. Hey, Valerie. Valerie, you know I call everybody Valerie? Girl, they tired. They sick of me. Every time I don't know a name, I was like, I say, is that Valerie? They sick of me. Okay. I said, because that was my first mod. I love you, girl. Thank you for riding with me. Okay. And baby, you ain't going to die. Not with me. You already know. We bringing everybody back to life. Let me take this damn butt out of my head. It's about to come down. Let me take it down. Get a little loose. Get a little loose. Um, now what else? Javar, blessings. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for the people not leaving me. Y'all, I love y'all. I done blocked so many damn people. More people came. I love y'all. I great. I'm grateful for you guys and thank you for supporting Grace Levi. Now, let's get to a little bit of this Lacey Lewis. Talk a little bit about him. And then we're going to get into the update, the surprise I got for you guys. And then we're going to get into the, the housing director. Because I was just inquiring about him, wondering why this man was calling down Jesus and talking all this stuff. We're going to revisit that. This live is going to be pretty long. OK, we're going to break it up as well. So you guys, if you miss it, some of it, it's OK. We're going to split it up. We're also going to do a case read tonight. I'm here for it. Y'all like, why is she going to do so much in one night? Because I got some stuff to do. I want to make sure that y'all are fully informed with the things that I wanted to provide with you guys, for you guys. And then we're going to split them up. OK, so if you don't have to watch this full live, but I'm just giving y'all heads up. I'm here for it. As long as God give me the strength. So now let's get to Dalton Deputy Police Chief indicted on bankruptcy fraud charges. And this is what I wanted to compare that to, as we already know, Freeman, Keith Freeman. And I was looking for the bankruptcy um, thing. I think it's three of them. I'm going to have to do some more research because I just started doing it at the last minute. And I was like, is these three his? So we're still, I'm still looking into it, but I would assume doing the same thing that Keith Freeman did, filing a fake bankruptcy um, case is a federal crime, unnecessary, especially because the way they were li living and doing in Dalton. Because I just want you to keep in mind that there's a lot of other underhanded things that are allegedly going on. They're mentioning the tow company, okay? This tow company keep coming up. We're going to do a video on the tow company. People have talked about the tow company, but we know that tow companies usually work hand in hand with the police station, not usually where they're supposed to work like cash dogs. But in this situation, because there's so much nepotism going on and crazy things going on, I do believe that that towing company that the trustees bought up. The last what was the yeah, the last um, meeting. Charging $500, $250, $175, you know, different prices when your car there for one day or you get hooked on. Do y'all think that's connected to the Pope? We just asking some questions here. Okay. Maybe we're looking into that for you. Okay. 
And you said the Thornton meeting is July 16th. It is. Okay. It is because I need you to look at okay, Illinois page. The Thor okay, so we don't I'm gonna, the the meeting, the Thornton meeting is the 16th. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm like, it is. I probably have to miss that. I'm gonna watch it because I'm gonna be on the road, y'all. Thank you for putting me up on there. I'm gonna see can I um we go over it once I get settled. Okay. Yeah, let's get to it. Anyway, let's play this video. Thanks for the heads up. Who put a, a, anybody, this was this a question? Who was this, Rob? You want to know who Alexis Wilson is? I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to interrupt the whole broadcast. I saw my boo-boo name. Yes, this is the young lady who was unalive out there in Dalton. Now, Lacey wasn't directly connected being there in the cops there, but he was over the cops at that time. No, it was actually, it was Carlton. That was over the cops. Let me correct that. And then Lacey came right after them, but still supported it. So shh, there is a link that I'll put here for you guys if y'all don't know who she is and y'all can get a little bit more information about that. But we are working to put a, what is a pin in Hendrick's ass. I'm trying not to curse. I'm being good today by creating a petition to change the name of the ice skating ring in Dalton that she named after her daughter and put a whole bunch of hearts on there that got on my nerves from the beginning. We want to rename it to the Alexis Wilson Justice Skating Ring. So that's who she is. I'm going to be talking about her every time I go live. I ain't going to drive y'all crazy, but it's going to be a household name and we're going to do this. We're going to get justice. Okay. So let's play this right now. Let's play this right now. The reaction from the community, Courtney. Yeah, good morning to you both. A federal indictment that came down yesterday accuses Dalton's acting police chief, Louis Lacey, of bankruptcy fraud. This comes about a week after the village fired Lacey after placing him on leave. But despite getting notice of his termination, we're told he was still showing for work. It's a great day in Dalton. <laughs> Justice is being served. Dalton residents reacting after the police department's acting chief is slapped with a nine count federal indictment. Louis Lacey now accused of bankruptcy fraud, making false statements and lying under oath. I'm just so happy because this man needs to be taken off the street. Right. He does not need a gun or anything, mm -hmm. period. According to the 24 page indictment, Lacey has filed for bankruptcy seven times over the last 40 years, including two times in the last five. In one case dating back to 2015, Lacey is accused of largely underreporting his income and lying about being separated from his wife Ooh. so he could claim she wasn't contributing to their shared expenses. All of that to allegedly avoid paying back more than $40,000 he owed in a settlement. This is going to be a domino, domino effect and we got to take the rest of the trash out. Residents rejoicing the news investigators say stems from an ongoing federal investigation. Lacey now the second ally of the self-proclaimed super mayor to face federal charges of bankruptcy fraud, but his attorney calls this a witch hunt. They're trying to find people that will... Um, uh, shy away and, and uh, cooperate with them against the mayor. Hangard's top aide Keith Freeman, also federally charged, now cooperating with village trustees who called for an investigation against the mayor. Lacey's attorney saying he believes prosecutors are targeting people they believe they can flip and residents say they expect to see that happen. I think that this is a good thing because uh, I'm sure Lacey is going to try to save himself. Former Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot recently revealing findings of an investigation she was paid by the village to conduct. While that was separate from this indictment, it laid out big allegations against Lacey. With all due respect to Lightfoot, um, it was her conclusion. She is nobody. Lightfoot was a formerly high-powered federal prosecutor before her time as Chicago's mayor. Her findings revealed Lacey is accused of being paid more than $200,000 in overtime over the last few years, despite yeah. his inability to receive overtime pay. She's just the person that came out with a conclusion, and the village is taking it as, as if it was the, the scripture. Residents now waiting to see what comes yeah. next for Lacey, the department, well, and the a, village. There are some good people Look working for the police department. And Shout out to Robert. Hey, Miss, Mr. Roberts, I do apologize. This is my boo. He makes my heart melt. This is my guy. Dalton. My wife and I have met a couple of them. And I, I hope the powers that be will erupt allow one of the good ones uh, to fill the space. 
Now, Lacey's attorney says he will surrender in court and plans to plead not guilty. Each of these charges, if convicted, is punishable by up to five years Ooh. in federal prison. In the newsroom, back to you. Wait, I didn't write down the notes because I was so excited. I'm over here. Y'all know I usually take notes, but when I'm excited, did they say it was three different ones? That's what I thought I saw. Am I crazy? We're going to... Let me just, I'm not going to play it again. Should I play it again, y'all? I was just so happy. I was just smiling and dancing. I got a little sidetracked. But we do know that it was more than one. This guy can face, face up to five years, and it sounds remarkably similar to as we talked about Keith Freeman. So what we saw Keith Freeman doing shortly after this, shortly after a situation like this. Hmm. Did he turn on Henry? It does seem like him and Carmen have turned on Henry. Okay. Now, this one was just out of the blue. This, 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 I wasn't expecting this right here. This right here? Oh, nah. We were hoping and we were wondering why Lacey was still there and after all of this. But I think another thing that has helped is the people. Literally putting all this dude information out there, continuing to push, ask these questions. And also, I think just that that video, too, as well. And I have to say it of him chasing after somebody on Facebook Live. That was wow. That was wild and unheard of. And that man didn't get reprimanded or anything for that. Literally. So we knew something was coming down. Something was coming down the pipe. So the FBI is using their usual tactics by coming after people who have done financial crimes, white collar crimes. Okay. Sounds a little bit familiar. So what they're doing is going to use their leverage, allegedly, again, and he going to start singing like a birdie. He, I would assume he already don't have a pension. Okay, let's let's make sure push for that. Ask that. Ask those questions. Make sure that this man don't have no pension because he done took so many people's lives and or affected it and literally almost bankrupt Dalton. I'm saying almost because I'm trying not to claim that. But baby, the way things are going. Y'all definitely need Dalton Township and services because they none him right there. This man right here, this is one of the main ones right next to him. Here. If y'all really want somebody to go to jail, then hell, I think y'all really need to focus on on these two. Pray for this man. Pray for this man over there looking like Yoshi. Looking like Yoshi with his old short ass arm. Get his ass off my daggone screen. A big old dummy. Now, so we're not going to drag it into the wall. I'm going to put some links under there. You guys have been hearing about this. Um... Let me see. Let me see if I could get into this article and see if it's going to give me a little bit more detail. The police officer of the village of Dalton, Illinois, was indicted Tuesday on federal grand jury in Chicago on bankruptcy charge for allegedly engaging in a scheme to conceal assets and income from predators and prevent payments for settlement and lawsuit. Nine count indictment. Whoa, nine, nine count indictment returned this afternoon in the U.S. District Court in Chicago charged Louis Lacey, 61, of Illinois with bankrupt, bankruptcy fraud, making false statements and declarations in the bankruptcy case and perjury. OK, you wrote it, said it and you signed it and put it in your big old dummy. Each count is punishable by a maximum sentence of five. OK, Whoa, he, he yeah, mm. he's going down. He's gonna almost do get close to 50 years. Okay, if he don't plea. Okay, do the math. Five times nine, almost 50, right? Yeah, almost 50 years. Yeah, I think he's definitely gonna sing like a birdie. Okay, let's see what Henry got up her sleeves as well. I made a little people on a few people uncomfortable. <laughs> Well, a few people, they respond like I like to respond hardcore. Like, we ain't scared of that. Bitch. I don't care what she got in her bag. Her bag is empty. But she's talking some smack, okay? So I don't disregard nobody. I know she's been talking smack. But now it's getting to the end of the road. And she is still trying to be Thornton Township supervisor. She's still out there trying to campaign. Y'all have to look at that like something is severely wrong with her brain. And that's what everybody thinks. It's just her brain. Or she knows something that we don't know. Okay. Now, there was a, um, there was a video released by the independent investigator. 
And I want you guys to go to his page because he made a lot of videos that was very detail oriented related to a lot of information. I think you guys should pay attention to the independent investor. He investor. Right. I'm going to put his thing up. I just have to show you all because he may take his videos down. And I want you guys to see it before they go away. If the independent investor is, let me see, is it? Yeah. Yes. I got it right. Cause y'all, I, I ain't call him. I ain't call him, um, Valerie. All right. Let me put him on the screen. Let me put his page on the screen. Why? Well, hold up. That's not that right one. Hold on. The individual. Okay. The, it was an independent investor. That's another guy. Let me put the individual investor. Let me put his page up there for you guys. Y'all go to his page. It's a little dry, but y'all going to learn. Y'all going to see what he got, what they got going on. He broke down a lot of videos see, about, I mean, a lot of situations here. Tiffany Cares is not a charity. And he goes into details about it. He goes into more details also. Can Dalton be saved? This was three months ago. The calculations he made in this video, and we I may use parts of it when we go live on Friday, is well beyond six million dollars. Okay. Okay. The first lawsuit is 33.5 million dollars, y'all. The one I talked to y'all about. Okay. I think that thing has a 6% interest rate, like or a penalty or something, like 2% interest. Don't quote me. It got penalty and interest and still not getting paid. 6% times $33.5 million. And insurance is not even covering one third of it. These are the things we really need to pay attention to. So when that guy said that the everybody just running with the Lori Lightfoot report, no disrespect, <laughs> it's good that the CPA Gave her that information, but it's way more. So he goes into bonds. And if y'all don't know what bonds are, later on in this month, I'm going to do a really corny live for you guys to break down what these bonds he is talking about, okay? He goes into also, I got to break this down because he may take this shit off. He did his, he did his own job. He got one video, the in, individual investor. If you listening... Put it back up there. It's one video you did not put up there, and it's still private. You know what I'm talking about. No bias. Let the people know what's going on, especially the ones who have the comprehension, you know, the ability to comprehend, okay, the ability to pay attention. He goes into some of the business businesses and he um, why they got shut down. He also talks about the lake that was sold. We're going to revisit that here. This is a lot of issues that has been working passively but aggressively against Dalton um, residents and their uh, capability of actually surviving this economy. Because the things they have done has basically put y'all in a situation that, oh, we just got to raise the taxes. And we already went through this when we talked about taxes that... Illinois got the highest taxes in the United States. And I talk snuff. I talk snuff. But I couldn't talk snuff because Jersey was next. That's why I moved that ass out. Shit. Okay. So I know about these type of things that's going on. And you know why it happens out there? Because we don't go to the meetings. We don't pay attention. We don't. I'm just keeping it real. And and, and it's a blessing, Dalton. It's, uh, I, I'm going to say this to you guys. It's sad that you guys have to go through this. But since you guys have been going through this and this has been going national and people just want it, want it. Do y'all know a lot of videos are popping up on YouTube at different board meetings and people getting locked up? Huh? Y'all got to pay attention. I'm like, oh, snap. They sent it off here. They even did it in Clayton County up here. Clayton County. When we do our trending news, we'll go back to that where that sheriff was tying people down to the chair. Y'all don't know. I was doing trending topics. Tying them down to the chair. You came in for a traffic, traffic violation. They talking about you ain't. The guy was like, look, one of the guys who he locked up just to get sidetracked. He said, I got constitutional rights. You can't tell me I can't talk to nobody before. He said, well, you in Clayton County Jail right now. You ain't got no constitutional rights. Strap them down. So that type of shit is happening out here with our police as well. And they turned up at the board meeting. And I think it was related to actually the taxes and some of the charges. So I just want you guys to know that y'all been amazing. 
Sorry that y'all really have to be the test dummy, but there are a lot of other um, counties and board meetings just, you know, coming up in the algorithm. Maybe it's just because we're watching this, but I know people are standing up, they're recording it, and they're putting holding people to task. So I'm just going to put his link there. I don't know this guy, but I know good work, and I know non-biased. So, um, yeah, check it out, okay, before he take it down. Because he, I think he doesn't really focus on this type of content that's so messy. But it was very interesting and it dealt with a lot of finance and stuff. So he also went into one more video that I want y'all to just know about, which he was talking about the idea of um, downtown Dalton being revitalized in the way that they were doing it. Okay. Now, the case that we get into today that involves... Um, the director of the house, housing department, that jiggle, and a lawsuit involving the church. Is a church out there? Remember, I kept saying, it's a lawsuit with a church. And I was like, man, we're going to save that because it's probably like, you know, probably corny. But it's not corny when it fills in the whole picture. So I'm like, finally, I could do the church because I'm going to be talking about the housing director who was up there calling blood of Jesus 